very dull, isn't it? I don't know whether you can tell or not, but it just seems like there's just hardly any light about. It's really weird. This morning I was uh, doing my checks on my truck and I'm like, what the fuck's that smell? So it was in the air, it was everywhere. It was just like as a, it was like a, a very eerie, sweet smell in the air. Like, you know, I'm like, this isn't right. And then I can taste it as well. Like, you're thinking, mm, that's a bit ominous. I wonder what that fucking chemical is that's been sprouted around everywhere. And I've come down here, I'm at uh, West Brom at the minute, <clears throat> and I can still smell that sweet smell, but there's also a burnt tinge to it as well that seems to be in the air. But just from Canic to here, well, it ain't far, but it just seems very, very murky and blech. You know what I mean? As if all the fucking colours just been washed out of everything. It's fucking naff. Good grief. Anyway. <laughs> My uh, tablet there, I, I ain't really impressed with this case, but um, it'll do for now. I'm still looking for a, another one, but this is my, my new tablet I've got, finally. And um, it's, it's, it's you know, it, practically everything on the outside of it, it just looks the same. It's just a little bit thicker by 1.4 mil. And um, it's the the innards that are all different, like everything's been upgraded inside. But this is this is a hundred and twenty eight gig. This one is right, which is quite well. Let's just say when I asked um, for one, like they offered me the sixty four. But when this turned up, it was a one twenty eight. I'm thinking, eh, oh well, I'm not going to argue. This isn't a sixteen, like you know what I mean. I would have been playing my face, but. Uh, <laughs> It's all right, like, it's not bad. I mean, you can play those uh, AR games with it now. That's that's because a lot of the AR stuff, I'm, well, all of it, and a few other games that uh, my other tablet just wasn't compatible with. So, you know, and uh, it's all right. Does the job. I'm still trying to get things sorted out with as they're syncing up on the computer yet and all the other bits and bobs that goes with it. But, you know, other than that, it's not too bad. The bit that pisses me off though is because of the way they've changed things on the internet for the um, for your iCloud crap. Um, whereas before, it was easy just to go into your iCloud and go like, don't want that, delete. You know what I mean? And empty your iCloud storage as so you get 5 gig free. But the fucking rigmarole I had to do to get around to do it. I mean, why do they do this shit? It doesn't make no fucking sense whatsoever. Why take away the ability to delete the stuff you don't want on there? I don't, I don't understand it. It fucking boggles the brain. Unbelievable. But um, I, I went on to the uh, the iCloud thing to look at the pictures that were on there. There was 116 pictures and a couple of videos on there. I didn't want them no more. I've already got them on my computer. I wanted to relieve the, some of the space on there. So. Uh, you right click on the mouse, select all, fuck all happens. Doesn't happen. Doesn't even give you the option to delete this. I'm thinking, why? Why won't it let you delete this shit? Oh man, it took such an effort. So to do it, you have to disengage your, your, your uh, tablet from the iCloud, which I'm thinking, why? Why would you want to do that? I just don't understand the logic. But anyway, after fucking around for about an hour, I managed to get it all done. <coughs> <coughs> and also I managed to uh, remove the um, the backup that's on this thing as well because it was backing up to the iCloud I don't want it to back up to the iCloud because it takes too much space I mean to back this up it was near enough a gig you know what I mean which I wasn't impressed with so a couple of them, a couple of them backups, and, and it's wiped out. And he goes, "You can't back up no more." So I prefer just to plug it in in my, in my computer and back it up onto my computer. It saves a lot of fanning about. That's, that's my opinion anyway, and I'm sticking to it. Mm. Yeah, and that was that. But it's uh, other than the old uh, tablet being uh, done. Like I say, I'm not impressed with the case. At least it fits, but there's got to be better ones out there than that. It's it's just me. Uh, 
a bit naff. It's awkward to use. I mean, first of all, you've got this, this clip here, right? It, it clips it together. Yeah, I know it keeps it sealed, but it's just the fact that when you open it up, it just fucking dangles everywhere. I mean, what the fuck's that all about? You know what I mean? That's just shit, that is, isn't it? You know what I mean? You, you got that bit, and you, this bit's here flapping around, and I'm like, what the? F I am a fussy fucker, I will admit, right? But why? <laughs> What the fuck's that gonna? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it it does serve a purpose, don't get me wrong, for when you want to stand it up like, you know what I mean? It does all that kind of crap, but it just Nah. Nah. I'm on No. <laughs> but at the end of the day it is a case for now. And uh, we'll see how it cracks on does what it's supposed to do. I mean, I would have, would have preferred it to have uh, covered the uh, volume switches as well as the uh, the power button. And, uh, you know, I don't I don't get the logic in that either. That seems a bit odd. I don't know why they would do that. Uh, I don't know. There's obviously a reason, but it eludes me. My vocal cords are plucked. Can you hear them? You know how, how strange they sound. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll be doing like this all day if you want me to. <laughs> hmm. Fuck. Ooh, oh dear. Well, when I got home yesterday, I um, I took all the video footage off my cameras and put them onto me um, computer and even that was a scary fucking time I'm telling you now right first SD card shoves it in 33 gig because it was the one that I, I um, used one of my uh, side cameras and I put it on the dashboard a bit of it like a dash cam sort of effect and from when I was finished and I just drove all the way home with it so that's probably going to be a what, couple of hours worth of footage. But I used it as like a like a dashboard cam anyway. I didn't really, I didn't have any audio, and then I just left it running, and did that. So that. But when I plugged it in, and I was then doing something else, um, I came back. So I'm thinking, why is that still only like this little titchy bit then? And like looking, I opens it up again. And it's like um, six percent uh, complete zero data transfer oh god here we fucking go again so now I uh, clicks on the my PC thing or, or this PC whatever it is and I'm looking I'm thinking where the fuck my hard drive gone I have got a, quite a few hard drives right I think I've got about uh, let me think Including the operating system uh, hard drive, I have got in the PC itself seven, right? Seven hard drives. Um, outside the PC, in cases, I've got another three, four, another five, right? One I've took out because I didn't, I don't need it. It's only a uh, 2.5 anyway, so I think it's a 60 gig one, so I don't need it, so I'll just unplug But anyway, but each one of those hard drives are between um, 2 and 3 terabytes each. <laughs> it does take a lot of space up doing all this crap, I'm telling you that now. Um, originally, I uh, I used to keep all footage, including the, the finished rendered video of all my videos, so I'd have all the folders of all the, the uh, un cut video if you like where it's just all just files from the uh, SD cards and the intros as well I used to keep all that but uh, my space was running out very quickly I'm thinking well I'm never really going to use it again I don't mind keeping the full video and it was a hard decision to make because I'm like Ugh. you know I, I was like do I really want to delete all so I thought fuck it I've got to do it so I went through every video I'd got and I'd, I'd deleted gigs upon gigs upon gigs of, of data like you know what I mean it was unbelievable and it soon got filled up again don't get me wrong it don't take long but um, there I am I got my SD card in faffed about me doing something else 
come back to it because I was a bit puzzled why it was taking so long. 6% complete, zero data transfer. I thought, fuck. So like I say, then I was looking for my hard drive. And the new, brand new hard drive that I'd installed into my computer, that's why I've got uh, seven now, um, which is a two terabyte one. Um, it was there. I'm like, oh no, don't, don't tell me this is fucking broke. Because I've got all those videos that are on there, right, that haven't been done yet. You're still there, ready, waiting to fucking see them all. And uh, it's all on that hard drive. I'm thinking, fuck, what happens if that's just broke? That means I've lost all that fo- and plus as well I've lost the videos that I've actually already done yes they're on YouTube I can re-download them if I want to do but you, you know what I mean don't you and uh, so I've, I had to turn the frigging thing off open it up I had to take my frigging graphics cards out and uh, then relocate the uh, SATA cable um, from one socket to another socket Um the way they're laid on mine, it's, they're in section, they're in two steps, if you like. So you've got to, there's two sockets there, two, 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 two. I think there's about ten of them all together. It may even be twelve. I'm not fucking sure. I can't remember now. I mean, you know, there's loads. But um, I've got one that was breaking down because I'd plugged it into that first of all, and it was okay. But then it would just turn itself off. The uh, the hard drive would just disconnect so then I had to take it apart again and then I, I shoved it into another one further down and then that one ended up failing I'm like what the so now I've plugged it into another one and I hope because I've transferred all my data on it worked that time and the SD card reader decided then to, to work and do its thing and it transferred all the data of each card onto that hard drive so uh, yeah I don't know I mean, the power supply I've got is ample. It ain't like as I'm losing power. I've got an 850 watt uh, Corsair power supply in it, so I've got no worries about that. But maybe it could do with being. But then again, to be honest with you, right? I think personally that the the whole PC that I've got could do with being scrapped. Right? That means I could do with having a new motherboard. A new CPU, obviously, to match the motherboard, and some a decent amount of RAM as well. But the problem is, it's cost. It just costs so friggin' much. I mean, this one I've got now, the one I've uh, I've been the first one I built, which was a um, it was a seven seventy five socket. I bought all the bits and pieces separate. <clears throat> it cost me a lot of money for just that. But eventually it started to wane, as they do, because it was only a 775. But the the actual CPU itself was a bloody good CPU. It was a, th- I think that was a three gig, um, three gigahertz CPU. It had 12 catch in it. It was a, it was a monster for what it was. You know what I mean? And it worked really well. But like I say, because the the RAM was so low, it was a DDR2. I mean, it's just not. And plus as well, the buses was very the narrow and it was like bottlenecking a lot of things so it had to go and that's why I end up with this one I've got now which is an, an I supposedly an I7 it's a 1366 socket a lot better granted yeah um I've got the I7 it's a 3.2 gigahertz and this one's got uh, I think it's only eight catch but it's not a quad core I think it's uh is it a quad core or is it a six or eight I don't fucking it's a better core because the other one I think the other one was hang on um, no here we are the i7 is a quad core sorry the 775 was a um, something like a Intel 2 Duo core so I think something like that was it is that sound right oh whatever and uh, so you expect it to be a lot better wouldn't you really but the speed of market I mean when I click on it, I mean, I've got a funny feeling that the hard drive that the operating system on is the bit that's really letting it down, to be fair. Because I've partitioned a, um, I think that one's a terabyte hard drive, a partitioned 250 gig for the operating system on that and then use the other space for storage. I don't think that's helping, but 
what annoys me the most is when I say I want to go onto Google and I click onto obviously the Google icon, it takes so fucking long for the for the internet just to come on. And it, I just don't get the logic in that. It makes no sense because this computer should be able to go zip and up it comes, you know what I mean? But I don't understand why it doesn't. I can't get my head around it. It's nuts, it really is. I mean, I was watching YouTube this morning on my PC and even YouTube page wouldn't load fully because on the, so on the uh, right hand side you have your subscriptions down there and half of the icons are missing. I'm like, why? I'm not getting bottleneck. My freaking the internet is super duper compared to what it used to be a, a few years back. I mean, I'm like, was it 17 to 18 upload and it's like 60 plus down? I mean, that's that's more than enough. You know what I mean? More than enough. And yet it still ends up doing that. I don't get it. I really don't get it at all. I might have to do a, a bit of a, a deep dive on it, I think, and uh, do some serious cleaning, I reckon. But I know what may help um, is installing a solid state drive for the operating system. I think that might be the end result. But again, doing that, I've got to then try and funny about with that damn thing. Fuck me. That's a laugher, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, well, rather than that, though, it's, uh, I think it, it could do with really being upgraded. What do you think? Can't afford it, mind you, but I know. Well, I've seen the, because um, mine's a 50, uh, X58, I think mine is, a U maybe, or something like that, I think it is. That's the format of my motherboard. I've seen the 79s, they look pretty cool. But I think then, the, I ain't sure, because I don't really keep up to scratch with the old uh, <coughs> computer stuff. But um, I think it's 2011 socket now. I don't know if there's one up above that. There may well be, I don't know. But, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to do. But, again, it's all down to cost, isn't it, really? It's uh, I need a computer to do this lot. Um, but the one I've got, it's starting to wane a bit. Yeah. What do I do? Hope and fingers crossed that I win the fucking lottery. Yeah, I know. It's mental aid, absolutely mental. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, where, where I'm sure I had a piece of paper in my pocket. Unless I put it in here. Oh, I've done it there. So I was just thinking of uh, <laughs> was that so on Facebook, right? We had a um, little one of the guys have put up on Facebook about the uh, the, the fuel bonus situation on uh, on our company, and he congratulated the people of the top of the you know, the top ten. And um, I'm just wondering if if he actually realises how unfair that system is, because it's realistically it's only um, built for the trampers. I don't know if any day or night men have actually achieved anywhere in the top ten. Might have done, but you know I, I can't see it happening because uh, we are in and out, up and down, well, especially me, everywhere, <coughs> and I find that. I think it needs to be addressed, but I don't suppose it ever will, because it is the most unfair bonus system that I've ever known in my life, because I have never achieved it, ever, right? <coughs> the old one, the old fuel bonus, when it was um, 15 pound a day, uh, I've managed to do that, but that all depended on what I was carrying and what part of the country I was on. Um, and the, the shit kicker about it was, is that you could um, save fuel from the start of your day all the way to your, your delivery and across to your collection, right? You're doing great, right? Your, your miles per gallon are doing awesome. But then you pick up a 26 tonne of pop 
and you're going to drag that back and when you get back all your bonus has just evaporated so you have saved fuel in your journey to it but on the way back from the collection gone so i'm thinking <clears throat> again that's unfair there's no you know justification for it it doesn't make any sense because you know you've worked your nuts off trying to keep the mileage up and then all of a sudden you're given a 26 ton fucking load to carry now you've got no fuel bonus you come back it's on about fucking seven and a half miles per gallon yeah and you're, you're supposed to be on about nine and a half to ten it's all gone no fuel bonus and uh, i had a couple you know, I think at the, the highest I ever got, because you could earn up to £75 in a week for doing that, the highest I actually got one week and one week only was um, 70 quid. Right? But I had been pulling light all week that week. But the following week, it dropped from 70 to 30, right? I had uh, a 10, I think I had a 10, um, a 15, and a 5, and then zero zero. <coughs> <coughs> And then the week after that, it was 20 quid. The week after that, it was 10 quid. And the week after that, it was zero. And it carried on zero for months. Then it might, I might achieve a fiver a week. And that's how it went. And it, to me, that's, that's not a bonus. That's just bollocks as far as I'm concerned. It's, it's unfair. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason for it. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. But, um, I mean, if, for those who do do it, this new fandangled fucking fuel crap that this available, then so be it, then get on with it. But uh, as for me, there's nothing, and drivers are, uh, our drivers are to our day and night, man, there ain't really any way of us achieving it. We can't do it, it's impossible. So I think it's a bit unfair, really. You know what I mean? So the top prize of the quarter is 500 quid. I'm never going to see that. And then all the way down to like uh, 50 pounds, I think the last one is, I think. Never gonna see it. Never even have any chance to get to it. <laughs> Can't even get there. So, uh, <clears throat> I, I did put a little comment saying um, it is an unfair um, bonus scheme, which it is, it's very unfair. Um, but if there was a, a bonus scheme for the amount of trailers I change per day, then I'd be happy, at least I'll get some of it. But that won't happen. I know that we used to do originally, we used to have trailer change bonuses. I think it was about £7.50 per trailer, I think it was. So I'd be quids in back then if that was the case, you know what I mean? It'd be fucking awesome. We'd have a right old <coughs> pocket full of change, like, you know. But, um, you know, I find that if you're going to put a bonus scheme in, it should be achievable for everybody, right? Not just a selected few, as far as I'm concerned, but that's just my opinion, I'm sticking to it. Until they decide to change the idea of, of um, a fuel bonus scheme, it's actually workable. Then you know, it's it's still gonna, it's just gonna be lame ass and bullshit as far as I'm concerned. But hey, what do you do? I can't do anything about it. I can't change it. But I can air my opinions about it, and I'm uh, just letting you lot know. I mean, what do you think? I mean, do you think it's fair? I don't think it's fair. I can't see how it's fair, because we don't go nowhere to actually achieve it. Um, I suppose if I wasn't going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards, then maybe I could do it. But what kind of um, limitations are you going to have? I mean, I find that with the trampers themselves, because they can, um, for argument's sake, if they do just slow it down a little bit right one they can start to earn the fuel bonus but two they get extra hours pay because they pay by the hour well, well i'm not i'm paid by the day so if i slow down and take longer realistically it just isn't worth it because there are more hours i spend out there trying to achieve a bonus that i may not or may get means that i'm going to end up losing money anyway so what's the fucking point i don't get it i just don't get it at all I do wish they'd do, the, do a, a trailer change bonus. I fucking do. Because I'd do at least 8 to 10 a fucking day. You know what I mean? And uh, then I'd be happy and I wouldn't moan. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I was going to like, so try and show my piece of paper. Yeah, but I, it's, uh, it seems to have gone. It was, um, it's the 
category of, of um, uh, yeah, your telematic thing, whatever you call it, right? And I have actually uh, I've had a photocopy of it and given it to our uh, lad in the office because I wanted to query it. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I've done with it, because I've got a hole in the pocket, it's probably whizzed around the fucking jacket somewhere, I suppose, I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, <clears throat> on the on across the thing, because you've got all like cruise control, speed, hour speed, and all that kind of crap, and if you've seen one, you'll know what I'm on about. But I've got four A's, I've got um, two B's, one C, and two D's. Now, if you want to split the average across that of all, realistically, that should be a C. But I've skipped over E and gone straight to fucking F. I'm like, where the fuck do you get an F from on that? Now, I'll never really take any notice of those telematic C, because like I say, because of the fuel bonus side of it all, it's pointless, because I don't get one. So I always ignored it until now, until I really sat there and I'm looking, I'm thinking... Because the reason for it is because I've been driving the uh, the new trucks all week and trying to get that thing at a hundred percent. I was looking forward to looking at it to see what the difference was. And as I open it up, and it still says fucking F when I've got A A B A B C D. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? So I, I, that's the reason why I actually queried it. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have. I probably would have ignored it and took it out and just screwed it up and threw it in the fucking bin like I normally do. So I asked him to have a look at it, and he still hasn't got back to me yet, um, to find out why, after four A's, two B's, a C, and a D and two D's, how does that equate to fucking an F? <laughs> Maybe the lowest point D, yeah, or split the averages, it'd be a C. I mean, what the fuck? Which would mean, right, here's the thing, if it is either a C or a B, then my wages would have gone up, right, from the £100 basic to either 105 or 110 So basically I've lost money if that's the case, so I need to find out, so that's why I've, I give him the, the letter and done that, like, you know, and says, here, yeah, can you sort that out and figure out why I'm an F, when that should clearly be a fucking C or a B. Anyway. On another note, <laughs> this is going on for a bit, this is in it, fuck me, it's going to take forever to upload. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, on another note, um, I managed to sort my me, uh, me driving licence bit out, the medical form. I, I went to the doctors yesterday and handed it in and says, could you ask him to sort that out because he'd missed one off. Righty out. She went straight in. She says, hang on, he's a little busy, i will do it in a bit. So we, we do, we are up until half past six, we'll uh, come back later. Okay. So then I left it there, and I drove home. I got the one, I got me uh, my right shoe off. I was just about to take my left shoe off, and the phone rings. Uh, he's done your thing for you. You can come. And I said, right out there, straight there. So I took my boots on, put my trainers on, straight up there. Um, but first of all, when I was going in the car, I was back in it and thinking, what time is it? Quarter to three. Ooh. So I jumps back at the car, grabs my license and the envelope, and me some money to pay for it. Off up the road. Grab that straight down to the uh, post office. I ended up having to buy an A4 fucking envelope. We stuck the um, the, the the small little tiny envelope because there's a lot of paperwork there to sit in one little tiny envelope. So I, I, I sta uh, so like we sellotape that to the front, the big one. Uh, the uh, the why am I going to sneeze? <sighs> Fuck off. And then. Um, pay for all that and send it all off right so my license is gone for the second fucking time hopefully because I've only got five days left now <laughs> hopefully uh, it should be back in time to say you're all right you can carry on <laughs> what do you reckon anyway I thought I'd leave you on that little tidbit I'm gonna go now because I've been waffling on for fuck knows how long um, and I will speak to you a lot later. And yeah, you've got a fair few uh, drive longs on the way, you know. Once I get, I shall do them on the weekend. I might do one or two on this weekend. 
and then you know keep saving them so at least you've got something to look forward to because obviously i don't get a chance to do many of these uh, wonderful dry but um i will say this much the uh, the leyland one well that you're gonna fucking love that one well at least i hope you do because that was spectacular that was a lovely little drive that was and i'm glad i had the chance to do it so uh yeah you got that to look forward to it'll probably be um in a couple of weeks time depending what i've got to do with the other ones but other than that there we go i'm going i've waffled on enough <laughs> so i'll speak to you later so i'm gonna give me voice rest because it's fucking killing me see you later bye <laughs> fuck's sake ah sometimes i wonder <laughs>